as part of our scripture reading for the lesson, the sermon today, we are also going to read First um, John chapter five. And uh, read one to twelve. Ebenezer, read First uh, John one, First John chapter five, one to twelve, and then we we'll also go back to Hebrews. First John five, one to twelve. Whoever believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God, and everyone who loves him who begot who loves him who begot also loves him who is begotten of him. By this we know that we love the children of God, and we love God and keep his commandments. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome. For whatever is born of God overcomes the world, and this is a victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Who is he who overcomes the world, but he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is he who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ, not only by water, but by water and blood. And it is the Spirit that who bears witness, as the Spirit is truth. For there are three who, that hear witness in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit. And these three are one. And there are three that bear witness on earth, the Spirit, the water and the blood, and these three agree as one. If we receive the witness of men, then the witness of God is greater. For this is the witness of God which he has testified of his Son. He who believes in the Son of God has a witness in himself. He who does not believe God has made him a liar, because he has not believed the testimony that God has given of him. And this is the testimony, that God has given us eternal life. And, the, and this is life is in his Son. He who has the Son has life. He who does not have the Son of God does not have life. Amen. 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 Alright, and then we are also going to read uh, Hebrews also. And uh, Brother Da, please help us to read uh, Hebrews. And uh, we'll read again from 1, Hebrews chapter 11, 1 to 2, uh, we can do it up to 1 to 10, please. The reading is taken from Hebrews chapter 11, 1 to 10. Now, faith is substance of things, hope for the evidence of things not seen, for by it the elders obtain a good report. Through faith we understand the wars the war were framed by the war of God, so that things which are were not seen made of things were do to appear. For by faith Abraham Bell offer unto God a more excellent sacrifice than came, by which he obtained witness that he the righteous God testifying of his gifts, and by it he being dead, yet speaking. For by faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death, and was not found, because God had translated him from before his translation. He had the testimony that it pleased God. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Seven, by faith, Noah being one of God of things, not seen as yet, move with fear, prepare an act to the saving of, saving of the house, by which he condemned the world. And became part of the righteousness, which is by faith. Eight. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, obey, and he went out, not knowing whether he went. Nine. By faith, he 
tongues in the land of the promise, as in a strange country dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob and her with him of the same promise. Then, for he looked for a city which had foundations with Peter, make up his God. Amen. Amen.